Just days before jury selection is scheduled to begin in the trial of an accused teenage killer, new evidence has just been released. Aiden Fucci is charged with killing uh, his 13 year old classmate Tristan Bailey when he was just 14. He's pleaded not guilty. Tonight, First Coast News has obtained photos taken of Fucci immediately after his arrest, showing what investigators said were injuries to his arms and both of his hands. Now, these pictures also include the alleged murder weapon. Tonight, our Taylor Levesque has been going through this new evidence. She's joining us now in the studio. Taylor, this new evidence includes interviews with Fucci's closest friends. Yeah, that's right. Aiden Fucci's girlfriend and his best friend were interviewed by investigators in the hours after Tristan Bailey was found stabbed to death in the Durban Crossing neighborhood in St. John's County. Both described Fucci as a teen with a dark sensibility who frequently made alarming comments about his desire to kill and had a plan to do so. Fucci's friend told investigators Fucci kept folding pocket knives on him for protection when he wasn't at school, and he nicknamed two of those knives Picker and Poker. Fucci's best close friend, who was with him the night of the murder, but was not believed to have been involved, told investigators Fucci didn't name anyone in particular, but described a plan for how he would carry out the killing. He said that he would just walk at night or something and find like a random person walking to and just drag them in the woods and stab them. Okay. He said that he thinks it's going to happen soon. He said I should expect it within the month. Fucci's best friend said Fucci and Bailey were at his house this Saturday of the murder, but left around 1 a.m. He says he didn't learn anything was wrong until officers came to his home Sunday morning, telling him Bailey was missing. Both he and Fucci were detained while in the same squad car. The friend said Fucci joked about both of them going to prison. Both of the teenagers said despite his disturbing comments, they didn't believe he would actually kill someone. Coming up at 6, what Fucci's friends told investigators about his home life and his mental health. In the studio, Taylor Levesque, First Coast News, on your side.